Kids Show. It looked much more fun than school. I really want to go. <gasps> Such a sight I've never seen. A puppet without strings. If I steal him, imagine how much gold he'll bring. Mmm, smells good. She grabbed a spoon, though she had no permission. Papa Bear's porridge, way too hot. Mama Bear's porridge, way too cold. Baby Bear's porridge, just right, just right, just right. After Goldie had her fill, she felt lazy and tired. In the living room, she spied chairs of three different sizes. They looked quite inviting, so Goldie thought she'd try them. Papa Bear's chair, way too hard. Mama Bear's chair, way too soft. Baby Bear's chair, just right, just right, just right. Just 
just as gold he settled in that chair broke into pieces gold he went upstairs and found three nice beds she could sleep in they looked quite inviting so papa's bed she creeped in papa bear's bed way too hot mama bear's bed way too soft baby bear's bed Three bears came back home Soon as they stepped in They knew they were not alone Someone's been eating my porridge Growled Papa Someone's been eating my porridge Said Mama Someone's been eating my porridge Cried Baby And they ate it all up Ate it all up They walked into the living room And what do you think they noticed? Someone's been sitting in my chair Growled Papa Someone's been sitting in my chair Said Mama Someone's been sitting in my chair Cried Baby And they've broken it up, broken it up Upstairs in their bedroom now What do you think they noticed? <sighs> Someone's been sleeping in my bed Growled Papa Someone's been sleeping in my bed Said Mama Someone's been sleeping in my bed Cried Baby and Goldilocks woke up and saw three brown bears staring at her. She screamed, help! Jumped out of bed and ran away with the clatter. Down the stairs and through the door, Goldie's gone forevermore. Our three bears, they scratched their heads, fixed the chair and made the beds and sat down to eat their porridge. And that story of the three bears. Yeah! There was a little boy and his name was Jack. He lived with his mama in a little old shack. Jack asked mama, why are we poor? A giant came and smashed our door. He stole everything we had, we had. To sell our cow Off to the market You better go now So Jack took the cow And he walked down the road Where he met a man Pulling a, a heavy, heavy load. load That's a mighty fine cow He said, he said That's a mighty fine cow He said I'll buy your cow for magic beans The prettiest beans you've ever seen That's a deal And Jack ran home When Mama saw the beans she moaned and groaned Out the window they flew, they flew Out the window they flew The minute the beans landed on the ground They started to make a rumbling sound Out from the ground the beanstalk grew Right up to the clouds and then right through Up that stalk Jack climbed, Jack climbed Up that stalk Jack climbed
you the story of Little Red Riding Hood. Yay! Little Red Riding Hood went out one day. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. She was going to Granny's far away. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. She followed a path through the deep dark woods to get to Granny's as quick as she could. How do you do? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. She said, My granny is feeling ill. I'm bringing her cookies to make her well. But the big bad wolf knew a faster way Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh The big bad wolf came to Granny's house Uh-huh, uh-huh And poor old Granny was all alone Uh-huh, uh-huh Granny, get 
in the cupboard. That bad wolf said, then he put on her clothes and jumped into bed. Here, come over here. But the little girl knew something was weird. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Granny, what great big ears you have! Uh huh. Uh huh. Granny, what great big eyes you have! Uh huh. Uh huh. Granny, what great big teeth you have! The wolf said, "Better to eat you with." Uh -huh. And the big bad wolf, he never came back. Uh-huh. 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 We're safe now, Granny! The little girl said. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And she helped Granny get back in bed. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. They ate the cookies happily. And that's the end of our story. Uh -huh. Huggy and Buggy to tidy their room before going out to play. <laughs> Those kids. Do you know where they are? I think I saw them in the backyard. I'll go find them, Jen. Wow, it's so cool to look at all the little insects. Yeah, the ants are my favorite. My favorite is the grasshopper. <laughs> that reminds me of a story. And I think this might be a good time to tell it to you. The ants go plowing in the field. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go plowing in the field. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go plowing in the field. The grasshoppers do cartwheels. And all they do is play while the ants work all day. Digging in the sun. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go digging in the sun. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go digging in the sun. The grasshoppers dance for fun. And all they do is play while the ants work all day. Grasshoppers are cold and sad. Oh no. no! Oh no! The grasshoppers are cold and sad. Oh no! Oh no! They never helped. They wished they had. And now they feel really bad. All they did was play while the ants worked all day. The 
The ants invite them to come in. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants invite them to come in. Hi ho, hi ho. The grasshopper said with a grin, We'll never shirk our work again. And the ants <laughs> all shout, Hooray! 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 <laughs> <laughs>
Can't do that. Can't do that. Can't do that. Said the policeman. You can't do that. No, 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 no. <laughs> and that was the story of the three little pigs. The three little pigs. The three little pigs. And that was the story of the three little pigs. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. Once upon a time. <laughs> Silly pigs. Mom, what's that word? That says tortoise, Huggy. What's a tortoise? A tortoise is a very big turtle. And what's a hare? A hare is a kind of rabbit. Why don't they just call the story the turtle and the rabbit? <laughs> well, that's a very good question. Can we just read the story? <laughs> All right, then. One day... The hare was teasing her friend, the tortoise, and she wasn't being very nice. The boastful hare could run really, really fast, but the kind old tortoise was very, very slow. To be so slow, it must be sad. It must be very, very bad. The tortoise, he got pretty mad the day of the big, big race. Well, let's have a race, said he. You're too slow, you can't beat me. I can. You can't. Well, let's just see. The day of the big, big race. Piggy said go, the hare he flew. Over the hill and out of view. It looked like tortoise was stuck in glue. The day of the big, big race. The hare, she laughed. Old tortoise is slow, slow, slow. I can't be beaten. No, no, no. The day of the big, big race. Poor old tortoise, sure enough, moved so slow and huffed and puffed. He was tired, but he was tough. The day of the big, big race. I am miles and miles ahead. I think I'll take a nap. She said in a carrot patch she made a bed. The day of the big, big race. Just five minutes, not a minute more. And it wasn't long before the boastful hare began to snore. The day of the big, big race. So old tortoise trudged along, whistling a happy song. He was slow, but he was strong. The day of the big, big Let's go, go, go! The day of the big, big race. Even when the hill was steep, still he climbed and still he creeped, and still the hare was fast asleep. The day of the big, big race. Finally, he passed the hare, fast asleep and unaware. The finish line, I'm almost there! The day of the big, big Began to cheer and cheer, and slowly toward as he drew near, the hare awoke and said, Oh dear, the day of the big, big race. The hare began to run and run. Oh no, oh no, what have I done? Hooray! The slow old tortoise won the day of the big, big race. The lesson here is plain to see Whether slow or fast you be If you work hard, you will succeed The, the day, day of the big, big race The day of the big, big race <laughs> There once lived an emperor and a silly old king was he He looked in the mirror all day long He was vain as he could be He was vain as he could be One day 
two tailors came to town, they were sly and they were bold. They wanted to fool the silly old king for a great big bag of gold. For a great big bag of gold. Dear king, we'll make you magic clothes, the finest there can be. With magic cloth and magic thread, which only fools can't see. Which only fools can't see. I'm no fool, said the emperor. How much must I pay? One bag of gold, the tailor said. Please make them right away. Please make them right away. They took the gold and they went to work pretending to make the clothes. They pretended to cut, they pretended to weave, and they pretended to sew. And they pretended to sew. The pretty design? I'm no fool, said the emperor. Those clothes look mighty fine. Those clothes look mighty fine. Good king, you must show the whole town the new clothes we have made. Oh, yes, I will, said the emperor. We'll have a royal parade. We'll have a royal parade. It's a... I don't know. Well, let's find out. Long ago, Jack and his mom lived their life on a country farm. They were poor, not enough to eat, so they made a plan to make ends meet. Jack, go sell our cow, Bessie, and with the money we can grow more crops. On market day, Jack sold old Bess to a funny lass who was oddly dressed. Hello, young man. She politely Trade you beans for that milking cow? They're magic beans, oh. and they'll grow a crop as high as the sky. Wow! Jack went home to show his mom, but when she saw what he had done, she threw away the beans outside. Oh, Jack, just beans, oh my! She cried. But, but, mom, they're magic beans. Oh, magic, magic! The next day, where the beans did land, a giant. 
it with an ugly face came thumping in so very loud shook my heavens and the clouds fee fi fo fum I smell a boy yum 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 fee fi fo fum ready or not here I come Jack was so frightened that he hid in the cupboard while the giant counted his gold when the big gold giant fell asleep Jack escaped with gold to keep Decided he'd go back up there But first I'd better say a prayer Oh please, oh please, keep me safe from the mean old giant He climbed up to the castle and hid inside Aha! Uh -huh. He said The giant's pride Golden eggs from that little hand The giant counted at least ten One, two, three, four, five Uh, what comes after five? Fum, I smell a boy. Yum, yum, yum. Fee, fi, fo, fum. Ready or not, here I come. <gasps> oh, oh, yikes. <gasps> Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Oops. <laughs> Wrong story. Jack was fast and acted quick. He grabbed that fine white little hand. Bah, bah. Even grabbed a singing heart. Climbed down. The giant came thundering after Jack and threw himself on the beanstalk. When I got home, I grabbed an axe and chopped that beanstalk all the way down. And that big old giant went hurtling off, never, never ever to be found. found. With the hen's golden eggs, Jack and his mom could now live a good life. Jack's mom was proud and made a feast, and neighbors came from near and far. The harp played songs and sang along. Jack, you are a shining star Jack, you are a star So, did they make beanstalk soup? No, but now they had a hen that laid golden eggs Oh, but you could break your teeth on those <laughs> <laughs> Story time, everyone. How about Little Red Riding Hood? Yeah. Okay. I want to pretend that I'm Little Red <laughs> and I'll be the Big Bad Wolf. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure Wookie likes that idea. Everyone ready? Yeah. yeah! There once was a girl all dressed in red who went to her grandma's sickly bed. She's not feeling well, so I'll cut through the dell and visit grand for a short little spell now remember don't talk to any strangers <gasps> i promise mama gave red some special teas grandma's very favorite cheese but in the woods a wolf stopped red well hello my dear you're going where he said um you're a stranger right I'm not really supposed to talk to you, but I'm off to Grand. She's sick in bed. I've brought some cheese and fresh baked bread. Then Red took off, but the wolf was smart. He knew the way to Grand's by heart. <laughs> I'm smarter than the average wolf. <laughs> The wolf sneaked into Grandma's place I'll hide you so there's not a trace He locked her in, got into bed With Granny's nightcap on his head Help me! Poor Granny cried Why come in, dear? Why, Grand? Said Red and she walked right in Oh, I've been wondering how you've been <laughs> I'm, I'm okay But she sounded weird uh, Granny said Oh, oh, oh. Granny has a beard. <laughs> uh oh. Hmm. Why, Granny, what big ears you have? And Granny, what big eyes you have? And Granny, what big teeth you have? The better, my dear, to eat you with. <gasps> The better to eat you with. <gasps> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> On second thought, no, no! Cried Little Red Riding Hood And a huntsman burst in from the woods He broke the door and 
Quickly grab that beast Why, I'll give you a pow To say the least You're a big, bad, hairy wolf And you better stop being a bully Or you won't have any friends uh, <laughs> Well, the huntsman let poor Granny out And Little Red just blurted out I talked to a stranger Confess, Little Red I've learned my lesson she said She learned her lesson Now she said Wow, that big bad wolf sure learned his lesson uh -huh. He sure did And they sent him away And he never came back See what happens to big bad bullies? Indeed Now what's the moral of the story? <gasps> never let a wolf know if you have fresh baked bread and special <laughs> cheese <laughs> 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 Okay, whose turn is it to tell a story? It's my turn, and I'm going to tell the story of the lion and the mice. <laughs> Don't you mean mouse? <laughs> Not this time, because you're all going to be the little mice. Oh. A mighty, mighty lion lay sleeping in his lair. Three little mice came creeping by and stared. One accidentally brushed up against the lion's paw. Yikes! Sorry, Mr. Lion. Uh, there ought to be a law. Oh, sorry. I, I hope I didn't hurt you. The lion drew his paw back and dropped it on the mouse. Ow. The other mice were frightened and squealed. You mouse! I beg you, Mr. Lion, kindly hear my plea. I promise to repay you if you'll only set me free. I guess I could say yes, but only just this time. Now scatter with your friends and I'll pay you no mind. <gasps> oh, thank you, Mr. Lion. I'm forever in your debt. I guess not every lion is really such a threat. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. <laughs> You're swell. So the great big lion let the little mouse go. Phew, that was scary. But that wasn't the end of the story. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, do tell. <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> well, the lion went to hunting and wound up in a net. He paced and paced and growled and then began to fret. He roared so very loud that the three mice heard his cry. Is that your friend the lion? He's in trouble, me oh my! Hold on to your horses, I mean lions, we're coming to the rescue! Captured in the net, the lion paced and cried. Unafraid, the little mice clambered to his side. They nibbled a big hole and became the lion's guide. Well, what do you know? These little mice have now become my pride. <laughs> We're friends. <laughs> friends to the end. Nice, mousey. <laughs> friends are just like family and family just like friends. I always keep my promises on that you can depend. The lesson here is friendship, Mr. Lion, see? Friendship is a gift that always sets you free! So, so is this a story about lions that get trapped? <laughs> no, silly. It's about friendship and, mm -hmm. and kindness. It sure is. <laughs> it's about always being there for your friends. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Sweet. Let's tell the story of the boy and the wolf and the sheep. Oh, the little boy who cried wolf. Why would he cry wolf? <laughs> because he didn't know how to say wah. <laughs> Joey, <laughs> why don't you pretend to be the shepherd boy and tell us all about it? <laughs> sure. I'm a shepherd boy who tends his sheep. I try hard not to fall asleep. Because sometimes it can get real slow watching all this green grass grow. <laughs> hey, I have an idea <laughs> I think I'll play a little joke On all the local towny folks I'll pretend a wolf came by Chased my sheep and made them cry <laughs> Um, help! Yeah, yeah, help! Help me! 
The villagers came out to see The boy and sheep were quite carefree The boy just laughed <laughs> I was kidding, guys But this was not a fun surprise Shame on you for making us all worry We thought you and your flock were in trouble Oh, it was just a joke Can't you take a joke? <laughs> The next day passed and night dragged on The boy made a plan in early dawn <laughs> I'll do it all again today So I'm not bored And he laughed away <laughs> <laughs> Help me, help me A wolf appeared It chased my sheep We're all afeared <gasps> Oh dear Sounds like trouble so once again villagers climbed the hill to see the sheep were fine The boy laughed <laughs> I was kidding guys I think you better apologize Yeah! Say you're sorry! You tricked us again! That's just not nice! You lied to us! <laughs> it was just a joke! The villagers were not happy but the shepherd boy thought it was funny that he once again tricked the townspeople. You bet. One fine day while with his flock, a wolf appeared. The boy was shocked. He cried out to the village folks. Help me, please. This is not a joke. Ah, la -di -da. Would you like another cup of tea? Don't mind if I do. But no one paid attention then. Thought it was a joke again. They ignored the shepherd's plea Just relaxed and drank their tea Hey, this is not funny Help me, help me, a wolf appeared It's chased my sheep, we're all afeared But sadly, no one came The shepherd boy realized that no one believed him anymore the boy came running into town Everybody gathered round He's the one who made us mad I'm sorry I behaved so bad I really am I've learned my lesson And I'll never lie again Dewey, here I come. Ha ha, I was just joking. I'm okay, Ollie. Hmm. Help! Don't worry, Dewey, I'll save you. Ha ha, fooled you. Hmm. Dewey, come over here and I'll tell you a little story. It's about a little shepherd boy named Bob. And he was just about your age, Dewey. There was a little boy who watched the sheep. Uh huh. There was a little boy who watched the sheep. Uh huh. The little boy. My name is Bob. Guarding the flock was his job, so the wolf wouldn't rob the farmer's sheep. Uh huh. He thought it would be fun to play a trick. Uh huh. He thought it would be fun to play a trick. Uh huh. He thought it would be fun to fool everyone And make the farmer run just for a trick ha -ha. He shouted down the hill There's a wolf, come quick! He shouted down the hill There's a wolf, come quick! But when the farmer came He could see it was a game It was very plain to see there was no wolf No wolf! Little boy, don't you play that trick again yeah. Little boy, don't you play that trick again Yes, sir Because if you tell a lie, I won't believe you by and by So never cry wolf again No, sir And later on, the boy did it again Wolf, wolf Later on, the boy did it again Wolf, wolf But when the farmer came, he could see it was the same it was very plain there was no wolf No wolf! Little boy, don't you play that trick again Yes, sir! Little boy, don't you play that trick again Yes, sir! It's not very nice to have to tell you twice So never, never cry wolf again No, sir! But 
But then a real wolf came along. Oh no! But then a real wolf came along. Oh no! The wolf began to creep in among the little sheep, and the boy began to weep. It's a wolf! Oh no! He shouted down the hill. There's a wolf! Come quick! He shouted down the hill. There's a wolf! Come quick! But the farmer never came because he thought it was a game, and that sure was a shame. But it's a wolf! Took all the farmer sheep away. Bye bye. The wolf took all the farmer sheep away. Bye bye. Every lamb and every ewe, there was nothing Bob could do. The wolf took all the farmer sheep away. Toodaloo. I'm sorry, Mr. Farmer, I was wrong. Good boy. I'm sorry, Mr. Farmer, I was wrong. Good boy. <laughs> what do you think the kids are up to? I'm not sure, but they sure are excited. They said to be in the living room at three o'clock. <laughs> it's almost time. Five more seconds. Five, Five four, four, three, three two, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, please sit back and enjoy our presentation of a famous old story. The tortoise. Hello. And the hare. Hello. Ready, Ollie? Ready. Ready, Holly? Ready. Ready, Dewey? Ready. Let's go. One day a rude hare, feeling boastful and proud, said to the tortoise in a voice very loud, You are enormous and heavy and slow. You crawl and you waddle wherever you go. The tortoise said, Hare, that might be quite true. I'm slow, but I think I'm more steady than you. Who needs to be steady? Hare said with a giggle, and his whiskers did twitch, and his cotton tail wiggled. The hare and the tortoise stood face to face. Let's settle the question by running a race. You've got to be kidding. But the hare ran like lightning right over the hill. He ran and he ran without breaking a sweat. I'll beat that old tortoise by hours, I bet. Meanwhile, the tortoise moved steady and slow, because that was exactly how fast she could go. That tortoise was stubborn, that tortoise was tough. I'll never, I'll never, I'll never give up. The 
When things are hard and the going gets tough, don't, don't ever, no, never, don't ever give up. <laughs> <laughs>